I didn't see you there. Welcome along to this Year 7 Fusion Basics tutorial. The video will be sitting here in your OneNote um, and it's going to go through how you can start to draw 2D shapes in Fusion 360. If we jump to Fusion 360 now, the very first thing we want to do is save. So if you've already created, or if we go up the top here and click the save button, you should have already created a location called 2024-7 Design and Tech or whatever year you're in. If you can't find it there, you drop that arrow down, click and hold in the top area here and drag it up. Look through your projects. I've got mine there and away we go. What I want you to do is save this as practice shapes. All right, there we go. And hit save. All right, you see it's up the top there. It's also over here on what's called the tree. Okay, so now we've got that saved. We can start drawing. Whenever we start, uh, we want to get into the habit of when we draw, we want to create a new component. Now, for us at this stage, it won't matter. But down the line, if you're making multiple parts of a drawing that you want to join together, this is really important. So we're going to practice it now and just get in the habit of creating a new component. So we go new component, so create new component. And I'm just going to call this a square. Just drag this up a bit, go OK. And we've got our square there, and you'll see how there's a blue dot, dot there. That means that this component is active. All right, so if the blue dot's not there, like it isn't here, so if I put that back there, you hover over the component and click on that dot. That activates it. All right, now we can start drawing. So whenever we start drawing, we start going with a 2D shape, and we go Create Sketch. Now, if it's not up here on that quick button, you click Create, and all of your options are here. You Create Sketch or that um, quick button. These are our um, planes. So we've got a front plane, a side plane, and a bottom plane. For this particular drawing, we're going to go on the side plane. Okay, we're going to draw the side of the cube. Click on that and it opens up into your drawing area. Now there's a couple of ways you can draw a, a square. You can either use a line tool and click once. Got no hands on the keyboard. I can now drag that around, click a second time, move it across, click a third time, fourth, and finally a fifth. That's one way of doing it. If I undo that, the other way we could do it is just grab the two point rectangle Click, and this is the origin. Sorry, I should have said that last time. We always start on the origin. Click once, drag it out, click again. There's my square. Now, that's not made to an accurate size yet. So the last thing we need to do is add what we call dimensions. And we need to go up here to the create option. Like before with the sketch, all your tools drop down. We want to go sketch dimension. Okay. There's a quick shortcut for that. If you hit the letter D on your keyboard, you won't need to go up and select it. So once you become um, really proficient in this, you'll just click the letter D. Once that's selected, we just simply either click on the line, drag out and click a second time. Uh, we need to now make that the right size. So I'll go back to our one note. It's 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. Okay, cool. So we could go back to Fusion and just simply type in 100. You don't need to backspace because it's highlighted or automatically delete that when you start typing and hit enter. Here I can zoom with the scroll button on my mouse and I can also move it around the page by holding the scroll button on my mouse. So just some shortcuts you can learn. And then we could grab the bottom line here drag down and go 100 again. Now you'll notice that the lines are black now. That means it's completely dimensioned. I don't need to do this side because it's the same as that side. I don't need to do this side because it's the same as that side. Okay, it's all black. If I undo both of those, you'll see how it's blue there and that's what happens when they dimension it. The other way when you are dimensioning if you don't click the whole line, you can click from one point to another point and it will do the same thing. So it's really up to you how you go about it, whether you click the line or the point. There we have it. We've now created our, our square and what we want to do now is hit finish sketch and it will take us back to the original view 
and up the top here with our view cube I want to click on that home button and it will put it into that 3D view for us now it's only a 2D shape the next video will go through how we can make that a 3D shape alright well done